Um, I'm with Dan Bunker now, a speaker of the Pride. How are you doing, Dan? Thank you so much for joining us so far. Thanks for having me. How have you found today so far? Oh, it's been excellent. It's so nice to see so many people turn out. Um, and I think this is the first year they've had it down by the water here. So it's a really nice atmosphere, really good, friendly atmosphere, really shows what Pride's all about. So it's nice to have such a vibe going on. And, uh, your turnout has been amazing so far and your act has been sensational. Are you kind of proud of that kind of point? I, th I think I think what's great about Suffolk is the diverse communities that we have within uh, the county and being able to have you know rock and pop and all the diverse crowds here all into different kinds of things and it's also quite refreshing not to just see a load of steps tribute acts and all of that kind of stuff that there's new original music happening which I find is really exciting and uh, there's a really nice vibe about it. There's been such a build-up over the last week with the state of Israel's Community Radio. There's been such a massive build-up and such huge positivity coming out of all the, the breakfast shows we've had this week and on live interviews. How, how do you think it's made this day come about? Well, I, th I think seeing so many people like uh, local radio stations get behind it as strongly as they have has really shown how times have massively changed for the LGBT community. I mean, there would have been a time when a Pride event would have been kind of, you know, some people might have heard about it, it wouldn't have been widely publicized. But now secular radio stations and TV stations are getting behind this stuff. And it's, it's really opening up the LGBT community to the wider audience, because that's what it's about. It's not about exclusivity, it's about inclusivity. And that's why an event like this is great to bring lots of different people, not just LGBT people, but friends and family and allies as well. It's really valuable. What's been your best? Well, I have to say horse party because they're my mates, so they're awesome. Um, and I think uh, just hearing the rock bands has been really, really cool, actually, because I don't think people associate that with LGBT people very much. So to get that noise out there, that really loud noise, that's what we're about. It's really good. And thank you so much for talking to us. Thank I appreciate you. it. Thank you.